name is Mike Schleich. I'm from Germany. I'm a structural engineer and my main occupation is to teach at the Berlin Institute of Technology. I'm a professor for conceptual and structural design and also I'm one of the directors of Schleich Bergermann Partner Structural Engineers in Stuttgart, and Berlin and other places. I joined the UPS in 1991 already and I never regretted this decision because it was such an opportunity to meet people, engineers, colleagues, later friends from all over the world. And I can safely claim that I can basically go anywhere now and meet people that I met at many other conferences. We work together, we write papers together. So it's a wonderful experience and I think very recommendable for all young engineers to join this organization. The famous green books are classics, the SEDs, the structural engineering documents. And fortunately, we had the chance now to bring together experts from all over the world to write about extra dose bridges and provide you with another SED. A few years ago, I started chairing Working Commission 3, that's what it was called in these days still and we thought of a subject that would be really worth investigating about, uh, to concentrate on. And uh, fortunately enough, we could find people from, again, all over the world who were experts in the field of extra dose bridges. Extra dose bridges are cable-supported bridges that are very efficient, economic and beautiful in the size range of 100 to 200 meters, or make it 250, but there's very little written about it. So, uh, I think it was a very fortunate uh, opportunity to bring together experts in this field from India and China, Japan, all the way to the Americas and naturally Europe. And we shared our knowledge and we put together a book that gives in information on conceptual design of these bridges, on how to calculate, analyze them, how to dimension the sections, how to build them. And there's a huge collection of data at the back of this uh, uh, book that helps you to see if your design fits within normal ranges or um, whatever, whatever you need to uh, see, whatever you need to find in this so I'm very happy that we had the chance to provide this within the framework of the absent.